Did you know that one woman from Algeria fought a war of resistance against an invasion by France? You see, in 1827, the ruler of Algiers smacked the French diplomat with a fly whisk during an argument over France not paying its debts. And at the time, the king of France was facing political unrest because of various policies he had implemented, including his attempt to restore absolute monarchy in the country after the French people had gotten rid of it during the French Revolution. The king then decided to use the fly whisk incident in Algiers as a pretext to start a fight with another country and distract his people back home. So the French Navy launched a naval siege against the city of Algiers, but this actually ended up harming the French economy as they used to actually do a lot of trade with Algeria. So after three years in a stalemate with the city of Algiers, the French decided to invade the whole country of Algeria. And in the same year that the French invaded, a woman by the name of Fatima Sumer was born. Her father was a respected Islamic teacher and the head of a madrasa somewhere in the mountains of Kabylia, where the Kabila people lived. After the French managed to take the city of Algiers, they continued their invasion of the country by occupying other coastal cities though avoiding the mountains at first. The mountains were much harder to conquer and the Kabila people took advantage of the terrain, launching raids against the French and harassing them with hit and run tactics. This lasted for nearly 16 years before the French finally managed to penetrate the mountains and in the mid 1840s, they began their invasion of Kabylia too. And that's when Fatima joined the resistance. In 1849, at the age of 19, Fatima and several of her brothers joined a group of rebels led by a man named Sharif Boubergla and their fight against the French. Over the next few years, the group traveled from region to region, always taking shelter in the Algerian mountains and attacking the French wherever they found them. Soon enough, they would face the French in their first major battle. In the spring of 1854, the French led a sudden attack on a group of villages near Ain al Hammam. Fatima was put in charge of the counterattack and she managed to lead her forces into battle and repel the French army, forcing them into a retreat. Sharif Boubergla then chased after the retreating army with a group of his men on horseback. They continued to harass them, causing them to panic and flee in disarray. It was called the Battle of Sebao River and it was their first major success. All of the villages had been freed from the French occupation and soon after Fatima would be called Lala, a title of honor and high status in Algeria. In the summer of the same year, the French sent another army into the mountains, this time inflicting significant damage to the rebel-held territory. But as they were leaving the area, Fatima and her soldiers set up a trap. Lying in ambush in the mountains above, they waited for the French to appear below them. And on July 18, 1854, the French arrived, beginning the Battle of Teshekert. Fatima descended on them at full speed, taking the French by complete surprise. They had almost no time to react. The Algerians managed to cut down the French lines, and within a short period of time, 800 French soldiers lay on the ground dead and another 371 had been injured in the battle. Their leader, Marshal Randon, just narrowly escaped. Soon after, the French came to them with terms of peace and offered them a ceasefire. All of a sudden, it seemed like these poor tribesmen from the mountains of Algeria could actually defeat the famed French army and win their independence. So that feeling quickly dissipated when an Algerian spy working for the French betrayed them, killed Sharif Boubergla, taking his head to the French. His skull was later put on display in France as a war trophy. Now the rebels were once again without a leader, so they elected Fatima and one of her brothers Sidi Taha to take charge. A few years later in 1857, the French ended the ceasefire and Marshal Randon once again appeared, leading another army against the rebels. At the Battle of Icheriden, Randon attacked the village who had only 5,000 men to defend it. The French, on the other hand, were an army of 45,000 men, nine times their size. The French completely overwhelmed them, crushing their resistance. There was nothing they could do. Soon after, Fatima tried to fortify a pass up the mountain to try and stop the army, but the French just smashed through that too, killing most of the rebels, and Fatima and her family of brothers were forced to flee. They were now just a small group holding up in a tiny village waiting for the massive army of French soldiers to descend upon them. Once again, there was nothing they could do now. A few hundred fighters were not going to defeat an army of 45,000 strong. So as the French arrived in the village, the last remnants of the rebels decided to surrender and Fatima was taken away, a prisoner 
of war. For the next six years, Fatima was kept in captivity, while the rest of the region soon fell under French control. And in 1863, she finally died during house arrest at the young age of 33. The French would continue their occupation all the way until the Algerian War of Independence was finally won in 1962, 99 years after she died. Till this day, the people of Algeria still remember her as a hero that led a resistance against French occupation, losing her family, her friends, her tribe, and even her life in the process. Like a follow for more Muslim facts.